Hello everyone, and today we are going to explore desert, cities, beach and snorkeling all in Gran Canaria in one day. Yes, it will be a diverse one day road trip in Gran Canaria, from beaches to cities. But before that, we drive from Las Palmas for 40 minutes to our first stop. And we're on our first stop, Tobas de Colores which is a very desert type looking at the moment. I'm not sure if it's greener in uh, spring when there was some rain because it's very dry at the moment, but it has a very interesting feeling that you won't see anywhere else in Europe. If you want to visit this place, type into Google Maps Tobas de Colores del Barranco de las Bacas. All the things that we hear, chi 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 chi. The old lizards sneaking around, the bushes. But if you come here from Aguenes, there's uh, a big, well big, a five car park next to the road, like 500 meters before you see the place marked on Google Maps. The valley looks wonderful and the colors of the rocks is something you won't find often. Be aware that because of this, the place is becoming extremely popular so try to avoid the crowds by coming early. From this valley, it is time to explore Aguamas. The main architectural highlight is the Church of San Sebastian. Its construction started in 1796, but it wasn't finished until 1940. It took them a whopping 150 years to complete this church. However, don't forget to enjoy the great small streets and statues that are around the old town as well. From Aguamas we drove through Goya de Quer Raven, which unfortunately wasn't the prettiest at this time of the year due to the drought. So now we have driven through the valley, explored another village and now we are back at the sea. We are going to dive and bump into a tree. But besides that we also had our lunch and man, Spanish people, they eat a lot. With paella, for a minimum of two people that you need to order. But when the waiter came to us and said, Shall I serve you a little bit extra? We said, We're finished. And he looked a little bit surprised at me, like, Huh? Finished? Yes, we finished the food. He opened the plate and he said, Oh my god. He didn't expect us to finish that amount of paella, which I find a little bit weird because why the hell do you serve that much food for two people if you don't expect them to finish it anyway? because you shouldn't waste food. But now my belly is fat around the sea of snorkeling, if I can still stay at. Yes, that is right. It is time for snorkeling. That is what we are going to do at Arinaga, at two different locations around the town. Luckily, I didn't sink down with my full stomach in the first Soko Negro snorkeling spot, which is a very small, quiet bay in the central area of the town. And it's good for families, it's a good place to learn how to snorkel. But if you want to have more like a beach feeling out of the town, go to Playa El Cabron. And Google Maps will tell you you can't drive there till the end, but that's not true. You will follow the normal path till the end. And then there's a dirt path going to a kind of university school building where you can park. Stop there, because if you drive a bit further, your car might be damaged even more from the dirt path that's ahead. And then at the playa, at the beach, there are two good snorkeling spots. One is right opposite the watchtower, and the other one is right opposite the red big umbrella, there at the side. And it's basically around the rocky areas. Rocky areas, that's where the fish like to swim. We're going to drive back and explore more of Gran Canaria. I need to be able to get back up. Back up. Boom, boom, boom. 